Hey guys, it is me, Long Time No Talk. We're back for another episode of Dr. Warren's show. This time I've got something good for you. I went out, found a new supplement. It is called Garden of Life Vitamin Code. Um, actually, you should have an intro like that. It's pretty impressive stuff. So, number one, what's got me so excited, if anybody out there is familiar with zinc supplementation, you know it's not fun. It's like rolling the dice to make sure you ate enough food and whatnot. You don't get that stomach irritation, feel like you want to throw up, all that. Not cool. Well, vitamin code. They have come out with a raw zinc. Um, it's so cool. Let, let's get into this. It is raw food derived. So that goes back to the our primary rule. You got to have dirt and you got to have it from food. Okay. Whole food derived nutrients are what the body recognizes. If it's coming out of test tubes and 50 gallon drums, your body's like, I don't know about that stuff, man. That's causing a lot of problems. And with all, and in all actuality, think of it this way. Your body trying to get rid of a synthetic item, let's just say a synthetic vitamin, it's kind of like trying to catch a grease pig with razor blades all over it. Not good. Not going to end well. So don't put synthetics in your body. Go with the natural. Le natural. Now back to vitamin code. What other good things we've got in here is, let me turn this so we can both look at it, huh? All right, so we've got whole food C, and it's probably backwards, so you're not going to be able to see that anyway, but we have 60 milligrams of vitamin C complex, number one, all the time. You're getting vitamin C as ascorbic acid, not cool, because what ascorbic acid is, you know, I like to have like you know, comparisons, uh, similes. Um, or a metaphor, rather. Wow, my English is even bad, huh? <laughs> um, what vitamin C is, is akin to the engine of a Rolls Royce. So I'm just going to walk up to you on the street. I'm going to drop a Rolls Royce engine at your feet. Hey, you won the lottery. You got your brand new Rolls Royce engine. See ya. And now I'm going to leave you with that giant engine sitting at your feet. There's really not a whole lot you can do with it. You can't pick it up. If you could put in a lot of labor and get that thing to a mechanic, you may be able to sell it to him or sell it to somebody for some scrap parts. So you, you get the drift. What you really want is this vitamin C complex because the complex is, well, that's the same as me pulling up to you on the street and dropping the keys to a brand new Rolls Royce right in your hand. So now, if you didn't want the car, you can sell it very easy because it's a whole car. You can go places, you can enjoy it. There's a lot of good that it can do for you. But if I just gave you the engine, it would take a lot of effort to try to get some kind of value out of that thing. So that's the difference between vitamin C uh, complex and ascorbic acid, which they call vitamin C, you know, air quotes, vitamin C. Now, next on the, the list is the guy who we are here to see, and that is zinc. We've got 30 milligrams of raw zinc, whole food derived zinc. Fantastic stuff. Now let's talk about zinc. Zinc is needed for more than mm, over 200 different enzymatic reactions within your body rely just on zinc alone. Now, what is an enzyme, you ask? Well, enzymes, enzymes are the people that make things happen. They not only help reactions occur and do things for you, but they also act as janitors, they're cleaners. Do a lot of things. For instance, you can take an enzyme on an empty stomach and it becomes an anti-inflammatory. It goes around the body, cleaning stuff up, like street sweepers. Well, on the other hand, you take an enzyme with food, now it starts to break down the food. Much, much, much. So it breaks down that grub and it helps you get at those nutrients that you're needing. And so that's why we're needing enzymes. It's not just about the hydrochloric acid that we have in our stomach. It's about the enzymes which are made to break down specific things. If you want to break down some sugar, well, you're going to need to 
have a sugar enzyme. A lot of that is just in your mouth. So slobber a lot before you eat and you can get all those juices to break down that food. Now, you've got a lot of other enzymes that come out in other parts of the GI, things that break down cellulose because you're not a goat. No matter how much you try, you're not a goat or a cow. You cannot eat tons and tons and tons and tons of vegetable matter and break them down with the same efficiency that a ruminant, um, ruminant does. You know, a guy with actual little gut and sits there and goes, meow, meow, meow. Yeah, that's because they're just chewing on their cud. You know, it goes down there, all these little bacteria go, meow. They break down the uh, cellulose with the cellulase. That's another thing. Anytime you find an, an enzyme, it'll usually end in ASE, ACE, because that's some kind of enzyme. So they'll break it down, and then they, the cow coughs it back up later, so he can mechanically beat it up a little bit more, and then it goes back down, and we hit it with some more enzymes to break it down and release all those goodies. So that's what, another reason why you want enzymes. So we got a lot of enzymes in here. Now, we have a organic fruit and vegetable blend. And it's a ton. I am not going to sit here and read all of these things. I mean, they have just, they've given you that much that my apathy will keep me from putting you to sleep, reading out a bunch of vegetables. So just know they have taken very good care of you. Love you, Garden of Life. All right, so that's 166 milligrams of that. Now we have the trace mineral blend in here. The trace mineral blend is 150 milligrams, and that's a mixture of raw organic spirulina, raw organic cracked wall chlorella, and ancient peat. Not just regular peat, ancient. And what they're getting at is the, um, the place where all of the plant-derived minerals should be coming from. These prehistoric shales, like a long time ago, all this action was happening, you know, really long time ago. And the plants, they were sucking up all those minerals and they were doing good. And then everything came to an end and some mud and rocks came and smashed them down and lots and lots of time went by and they were just preserved like that. So you're getting ancient minerals that, I'm not even gonna say how old they are. They're ancient. <laughs> and they are in these ginormous old school plants that knew how to fix minerals the way your body needs it. And it did that without all the extra stuff in the air, too. There's a lot of stuff in the air that's coming down into your soil, going into your food, getting into your body. Not good. I mean, we got aluminum. We got all kind of stuff up there. So we want to make sure that we're getting plant-derived minerals. And if possible, get it from the um, ancient peat or humic shales. So after that, let's get to the other thing I was talking about. Raw probiotic and enzyme blend, 60 milligrams. And yes, it's a lot of really fancy stuff in here. You know, lipase, protease, aspirilogopepsin. <laughs> Got a lot of good stuff. I mean, they really did well here. It's a very well formulated zinc. I think they were being a little generous because, I mean, it's zinc. But they wanted to give you all this extra too. So I, I really think these guys are great. You know that I'm picky when it comes to supplements, but I've taken this empty stomach and with food and it's fantastic. Last but not least, I was talking about the enzymes. I did not mention the probiotics. So something that's very cool here, they give you a couple of probiotics. Nah, not a ton, they just give you a couple. And that's really all that you're needing for maintenance. Now, if you have problems, you need to talk to your doctor, get some of that stuff fixed. If you're just maintaining your health, you just need a little sprinkle, 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 sprinkle of those probiotics on a daily basis. That's why eating fermented foods is so important for the maintenance of your health. Okay, so we've got Lactobacillus bulgaricus, we've got Plantarum, and ha -ha, we had a Saccharomyces cerevisiae. So, of course, we like beer. Beer is good stuff. But the guys that make beer, the yeast Little Brewmeister yeast, they are very cool dudes because they have a lot of goodies inside that they can um, give to you. But not only that, this type of yeast is responsible for doing combat with some of the bad yeast and bad fungus that's in your body. So you really want get to the, get the balance, if you will, in the favor of the good yeast and the good bacteria. That's what the probiotic game is all about. Trying to lean things in the direction of the good bacteria, get the balance going that way. Now, let's take a look at this because a lot of times various 
pills are huge, just huge. So let's take a look at what we got here. This is what we've got. Um, let's see, you have to make it relative, huh? We need something. Um, well, let's see. Inside my thumb. Well, I've got a big thumb. Let's say with a pin top. How about that? You can see they're, they're pretty small. I mean, they're, they're nice size capsules. So I really like that. And the other thing that I forgot and I don't mention enough, I'm so sorry. I should start talking about this more. I need your support. I need you guys to, to let me know. Hey, tell me about this. Tell me about that. Leave something in the comments for me. I'm here to help you. There we go. That was the other bit that I like. This is really big in supplements and, and it's difficult. I don't want to be too much of a miser about this because it's in a lot of supplements, even though it should not be. It's really there to help machines and whatnot, not to help you. And that's magnesium stearate. There's a lot of sterates. I'm not a fan of, um, what is the other one? Titanium dioxide. Try to stay away from those things when at all possible. These guys have brought you something so clean that the other ingredients, vegetable cellulose and organic rice hull. I love them. So that is my review for Garden of Life Vitamin Code. Really good stuff. Make sure you go get some. It was fun talking about that. Remember that all of this is for educational purposes only. Do not do anything and go and kill yourself. If you do, that's your fault. This is all education. I have to start putting that in the videos because now we're actually starting to grow. So if you like the video, that's another thing. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Say, ah, something. All right. Thanks a lot. We will talk again soon. I'm going to bring you some really good stuff. I, I'm going to do a cooking one next. I uh, put together some good grub. So talk to you soon, guys.